Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm sorry I kind of lost my voice. Um, I've had a lot going on the past couple weeks. Um, but either way, this episode is about moving in with your significant other. Let's get right to it. Moving in together will definitely test your relationship. Um, you're going to find out who's the clean one, who's the dirty one. Um, you're, I mean, there's so many things that you learn about your person when y'all live together. And I mean, like, you can stay the night with your person multiple times, but, like, physically, like, living together is completely different. So, first of all, cleanliness. Who's doing what? Um, especially if one of you is dirtier than the other, like, be mindful of that. Personal space in general, like... Yes, you're moving in together, but, like, you still need your alone time, so make sure that, like, if he has a man cave that you let him go sit in it, and, like, if you just want to go sit on the patio and drink your coffee and, like, FaceTime your girls or, you know, like, read a book, whatever you want to do, like, make sure that y'all have that personal space because too much time together can, I mean, you might kill each other. <laughs> you're definitely going to learn cooking, like... Eli and I, neither of us are really good, like, cooks, but we started cooking together, and, like, that became, like, our time, so it was really nice to, like, us get off work and both go in the kitchen and, like, help prep dinner, and then we'd both do the dishes, and that was, like, a bonding time for us because he's in the Navy and I worked two jobs, so it was, like, really hard for us to see each other, so cooking really helped because we were able to like do it together and it was we were trying new things but then at the same time like meal prepping I would wake up on his duty days where he has to be on the ship for 24 straight hours and I would make him like a lunch so I'd pack him a lunch and I'd make sure that it was things that he could like microwave or eat that didn't have to be refrigerated stuff like that um so I mean living together it just allows you to spoil your significant other a little bit more but you definitely learn their habits <laughs> their sleep habits their eating habits uh their mannerisms in general what time they wake up what they do when they wake up what they want to do in their downtime um i mean just literally everything in general like you're gonna learn that like some people are very routine like and other people are very like for instance i am very like i when i wake up i like to have a plan um i don't really like to sit at home and not do anything with my day um Eli is very laid back and can just chill and not do anything all day and uh, not have a plan or wait till last minute to plan so we're polar opposites of the spectrum um so that was very interesting to learn once we moved in together is like we'd wake up and I'd be like all right like let's go like let's go hiking or whatever it was and he'd be like no like I just worked six days in a row like I want to sleep or like play video games like relax so that also goes back to that personal space like be mindful of the other person's like life outside of you um i worked two jobs he was in the navy we were both extremely busy um but my love language is quality time so like as long as i was with him i was okay but we both are adventurous so we did like to travel or go hiking or take our dog somewhere um go to the beach so there's so many other things that you could do but you learn those habits and then our biggest thing was we were sharing a car. So that was a big responsibility. When I moved up there, I didn't take my car. So we now had to share a car and that made it very difficult. So I paid for all my Uber rides to and from work, like if I had to. I think that the biggest thing is when you move in with your significant other is like establishing like, even though y'all are living together and y'all are like dating, like establish some like boundaries and like guidelines. I'm um, like, who's gonna pay what bill? Who's gonna clean this day? Who's gonna cook this day? There's so many things that like go into moving in with each other. But like, honestly, I think that moving in before you're married should like be a thing. I know that it's frowned upon between a lot of people, but that's why I did it. Eli was in Virginia, so I moved across the country to be with him and if our living situation didn't mesh then like obviously we weren't meant to be together like you can't live with someone if you're extremely clean and they're extremely dirty and like that's all y'all are gonna argue about or um I mean just in general like the day-to-day -day routine I think that everybody should live with their significant other because you really do learn 
so much about that other person like even down to like their bathroom routine like peeing or pooping with the door open whether or not like they can eat in the bedroom like, there's just so many things that go into it it's also just more personal like you are literally sharing everything together and i think that when you wait till after you're married to move in it's almost as if you're starting over and there can be some not issues but like issues could arise from like not knowing each other's like personal life like whether or not you're clean and all that jazz um and I know that sounds minor but like it really is make it or break it like I am a very clean person but I'm also the one that creates all the mess so obviously I'm not going to make him clean at all or like tv time there'd be days where I would be like can you just turn off the tv and like let's have a conversation like things need to be established y'all need to understand like how y'all can cooperate with each other I'm also in like random situations like I got really sick and Eli had to take me to the ER um and like these are things that like it tests your relationship I also had a lot of like bad like I've really bad luck and so things kept happening to me and like that's something that's like does Eli want to bring that onto himself um and then for me it was a big deal because he is military so it was a way for me to kind of get my foot in the door and see if being a military wife is something that I want to do um, so regardless of how you do it, I think that moving in together is like definitely a thing that like everybody should do. I know that a big issue with people is like premarital sex and like obviously if you move in together like that's going to be an issue. If that's something that you're really firm about or believe in then like get a two bedroom apartment and like don't physically sleep together. I also personally believe that every couple should get a dog together. That's my little munchkin and I think that it, I know that a dog is completely different from like a human child, but it's still a ginormous responsibility and I think that when you get two people who are not married or even engaged and you bring a dog into the situation, which is hit or miss because like let's say y'all break up, like there's things that come with that and I understand that. but. Um, if you, even if you are engaged, like getting a dog will test it because, you know, I'm very family oriented and I'm very, like, I've always known since I was a kid that I want children and Eli wants children, but like he would be, I think, fine without them. And so getting a dog with such big responsibilities, like picking up the poop, feeding, getting the vet information even down to like when we were supposed to get stationed somewhere like dealing with another dog and like having that responsibility Nova literally got sick like five months in a row and I had like that test your relationship it was a budget like I think everyone should move in with each other so that they can learn each other's habits and like see if like it's going to be a good fit you can work in like work out but I also think that y'all need to throw like some form of a pet like whether it's like a hamster or fish or whatever and like see if like that's a responsibility you can have because some people aren't responsible and I think that that's a big thing is being able to be like okay you know what like you killed my fish so maybe this isn't gonna work out <laughs> Um, but either way, I think that there's a lot, a lot of good things that come out of living with your significant other. I also think that it does test your relationship. Um, you're obviously going to butt heads because you go from rarely seeing your person to seeing them every single day. Like, tensions are going to rise. Like, new stress levels are going to come out. Um, or even, like, getting annoyed with each other. Like, it happens. But, like... That's why I think it's such a good idea for people to move in uh, before they get married so that you can test all of that. Because honestly, like, I think that in this generation, people are so quick to divorce. And I'm not saying that, like, people moving in with each other is, like, a portion of that. But I really do think that people aren't testing their relationships and they are just so quick to get married, especially in the military. And I think that, like, moving in with each other, like, is the tip of the iceberg. And it, like, truly helps you understand if, like, that person's meant to be or not. And, I mean, if you're not ready to commit and fully move in with each other, like, maybe set a thing where, like, 
the other person can stay at your place for like two weeks straight or vice versa and like y'all bounce between places but i really think that people need to stay in the same household at some point before they get married to see if it's like truly meant to be my family was super concerned that like i was gonna move across the country and i was gonna be alone like eli and i wouldn't work out and like their concerns were valid but I am the type of person who like I like to make my own mistakes and learn from them and like I have to do me like I can't use your life experience to determine what I do and I think that that was hands down the best decision that I ever made was moving up to Virginia and like testing Eli and I's relationship before I moved up there we were kind of on the rocks anyway because I was in college he was gone like things got bumpy but I think that me moving up there like genuinely saved our relationship and obviously we got married and like it has been phenomenal ever since but um i definitely that's just my my two cents i really think everybody should move in with each other but on that note i hope that y'all have a great week it is beautiful here in texas um and i will see y'all next monday with another video thank you so much